Bossing, skilling, guides. Hey guys, it is Scuzzy, and welcome to a new series. Um, not really sure what I'm going to call it. Maybe it'll be in the title, maybe not. But as of now, I don't currently know what it's going to be called. But it's going to have to do with some pretty technical stuff. RuneScape, as well as maybe even stuff not in RuneScape. But uh, I did get a comment from someone named Awesome Sis. And I want to read the comment real quick. I'm going to have it flash up on screen. You can read it with me. Hey, Scuzzy, I noticed you have some pretty neat Excel. Uh, sorry, excuse me. I noticed that you have some pretty neat Excel uh, and spreadsheet skills and was wondering if you know how to express the scroll of cleansing mathematically. I've been trying to make a sheet for what I need on my Iron Man, which means I can't use portables or any of that fancy stuff. So far, I've come with 1.1 to the 1.1 power equals 11.05 percent for a normal potion which i think is correct obviously rng would screw over a little bit but with the sheet i'd have to assume that the chance is equal for all potions um also for overloads with multiple secondaries how would that work just 1.1 to the 1.1 divided by sixth power uh, equals 1.76 percent question mark I hope you'll be able to point me in the right direction. Thank you in advance. Sincerely, a spreadsheet noob smiley face. Now, I thought this was pretty cool because, um, you know, it gives a little bit more interaction uh, with, you know, me and you guys. Uh, and first off, if you do have any questions, spreadsheet or not, you're available to ask me in the comments. If you think that I would be able to answer it for you, uh, if I don't actually know how to answer it for you, I'll do my best. I will reply in a comment. But some of the ones that I do actually know how to do, I will, uh, you know, make a video on if you consent to that. Um, so I thought it would be pretty cool to answer this person's comment in the form of actually creating a spreadsheet and then making it available to other people because other people would probably have uh, questions on the the scroll of cleansing so the first thing i would do is i would open up a web page and i would go to google and uh, type in scroll of cleansing right and then i would probably click on the scroll of cleansing on the runescape wiki page to see what what you know what they're talking about in the thing this is what i did this morning i didn't really know exactly what they meant by the formula so, um, you know, so uh, this is what I would do. So I would read the scroll cleansing is a member's item, dungeoneering reward. You can purchase it, whatever, whatever. I don't really care about that. I care about the statistics. So a one in eight chance that the player will make a potion twice as fast as usual. And then the part that they're talking about is the one in 10% chance that, whoa, excuse me, when adding an herb to a vial of water or coconut milk or a secondary ingredient to an unfinished potion, it will not be used up, leaving the player with an extra ingredient. This effect also works with the juju potions, combination potions. Um, now, the interesting thing is it says it's a 1 in 10% chance or 1 in 10 chance, which is 10%. But apparently that's not the case, and that's why I've gotten this question. So if you look here... Uh, it says, although the scroll says that it has a 10% chance of saving herbs, in practice, the chance that an herb will be saved is much closer to 11.5% and may vary slightly depending on the herb. The reason for this is unknown, but data from studies of this occurrence can be found on this wiki page. So as the effect of the scroll can activate again on the saved items, the net effect of use over a large sample will be approximately 13% for most ingredients uses. Uh, they're talking about if you're starting with an herb and a vial of water, if you put the herb in the vial of water, it will give you that, uh, you know, they're saying 11.5% chance uh, to, you know, not use up that item. That means that you can use 11.5%, you have 11.5% more. So, Saying you start with a thousand, you'll have eleven. You'll have a thousand plus one hundred and fifty, and then if you turn that into, let's say, a prayer potion, you put uh, snake grass or whatever in it, um, or whatever you use for prayer potions. That's another eleven point five percent on top of that. So I don't know. It's like 
thirteen hundred something. Uh, so that's why they're saying it's thirteen percent usually. So uh, what I did was I went to this talk page and it takes you to RuneScape Wikia talk scroll cleansing and you can look at the data of what people have said. And I, I went through this and there was one that specifically stood out to me is right here. It shows this formula. Let's call the percentage of the herb saved T, which doesn't really make sense because that usually stands for time. But the total of number of unfinished potions produced from a starting pile of X herbs and as many uh, vials of water as you need will be X plus XT plus XT squared plus XT cubed, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, infinity. Um, and if you sum that, all of those down to the, what, X, N minus 1X or X times X, N minus 1 T to the third or whatever, T to the N minus 1 or something like that. No, X T to the N minus 1 is what it would be, uh, which sums to this if you sum it all up. X times 1 over 1 minus T, um, where you just input input T for the um, the percentage, which is just 10%. And that's where it comes out to the 11.5%. So if you're looking for an equation, this is probably the equation that you want to use, um, where T is equal to 1 over H over P. So, I mean, this, this equation right here is probably not the equation you would use. You would probably use the equation 1 over 1 minus 0 0.1, which would be 1 over 9, 90%. 100% over 90% in this case where T is the 10% that we we're talking about but it varies for different potions and we don't actually have the data for each of those potions except for we do have a little bit of data here but you definitely can uh, approximate what it would be if you're you know it's totally fine um, calculations don't need to be exact that's well excuse me uh, that's why we use you know, approximations and stuff is, you know, for like intricate things, cal good calculations are good. Uh, but for things like this, it's, it's not as big of a deal. So this guy came to two conclusions. One, the percentage of herbs saved might depend on the level of the herb and possibly uh, the possibly with higher levels of herbs having T closer to 10%. And then the percentage of herbs saved does not appear to be, does appear to be higher than 10%. So, uh, but the conclusion I think is that the percentage is around 11.11%, if that makes sense. Um, and it'll, de it'll depend on the different herbs. But with the higher, higher level herbs, it'll be closer to that 11%. So, if we look at this here and we say, let's say dwarf weed gives a T value of 10.7% from this person's measurement and toad flax gives 10.68%, we could probably put T at 10.7. We could probably do that. So in our Excel sheet, we will, uh, let's see, how are we going to do this? We're looking at the scroll of cleansing and... Let's see, how do we want to do this? We could start by doing potions started with, and then potions ended with, something like that. And then the formula would be one over one minus T. So, but in our case, I don't want to call it T. I want to call it the percentage of herb, right? Percentage of herb saved that this is the straight 10% that they were talking about right so we have 10% there and then let's just add another cell or another column here and then we'll have um what are we going to call it the factor the coefficient that's what we call it we call them coefficient We'll just call it what, coefficient H for herb. And this one is going to be, uh, this is going to be the formula one minus the quantity 
one, no wait, one, sorry, one divided by the quantity one minus this here. This one needs to be in percentage form though, 0 0.1 there. So, um, and to turn this into a percentage number, you just press control one, control one, please. There we go. And then turn this number into a percentage with two decimal places. I'm gonna do the same thing there. I turn that into a percentage with two decimal places. So the coefficient is now 1.111 multiplied by the amount of potions that you started with, right? So this can be copied, deleted, this can be deleted, and everything can be moved down a little bit because this is going to be like the name of it, the scroll of cleansing. We're just going to be looking at in this video here. So if let's say we started with a thousand potions, the potions that you're going to end with are a thousand times this coefficient here. It'll just have 11,000. And then let's say you start, let, let's call this one vials of water. And we'll call this one unfinished potion. And then we'll call this one, uh, we'll just call this one the uh, finished product, finished potion. Now this one is going to have an iteration of this multiplied by the coefficient h, right? So our calculation is the previous cell multiplied by this coefficient here, which we want to make sure that it always references this cell by pressing the F4 key on our keyboard. And it just gives a little dollar sign to each one of these things, basically saying this is not going to be able to move from the B slot or the three slot. So this will always be B3. So all I need to do is just drag this over here. And these are the iterations that's going to happen. Um, I don't know how many combina combination potions you're going to have total, but let's just say this is combination one. Let's say, uh, for example, you're doing an overload potion, like they said in the comments. That's what they said, right? An overload potion. Let's say you're going all the way to Supreme Overload. So I would go to Google, and I would be like, hey, Google, um, we're going to start from scratch. We're going to make, let's see, uh, let's go to combination potions first. And research does take a little bit of time, guys. Uh, combinations. I typed in combinations and that didn't work. Combination potions calculator. Yes, we want the calculator. So calculator, herbore, combination potions. And let me just bring this up. There we go. Now, um, if we look at the, let's go for the, like the highest one possible is the overload, supreme overload salve. If we just look at this, it takes a Supreme Overload Salve and then all of these other things. We don't, we can disregard those things, but the Supreme Overload Salve is one iteration. Then the Supreme Overload Salve takes an overload, takes an overload dose four though, so you got to be careful there. Um, but we could say that an overload is three fourths of what you need for a Supreme Overload. And then all we need to do is look at the overload four iteration. And to make this, you need uh, extreme potions. So you need extreme potion three. Let's just take one of these, for example, and you will save your clean torst tor torstals. So you'll have one more iteration there. Then for, let's say, extreme attack, you'll need another iteration from a super attack. And let's just say you're doing it from total scratch because you're an Iron Man, like this person here. Um, the way to make a super attack is you need a, uh, where is it? Um, an Iron Potion unfinished and an Eye of Newt to make a super attack. And so now you have another iteration going down to a vial of water and a clean irate. So with that all being said, I'm going to bring this to my other screen and pull up my Excel spread. Now that we have some sort of formula, we can then say, uh, these are the vial of waters at the start. This is the unfinished potion. So we're gonna call this, uh, what was this unfinished potion? Irate, unfinished irate. Then we do another iteration to get our uh, attack potion, not attack potion, it was a super attack. So this is a super attack. Then our other iteration was an extreme attack. 
Then our next iteration was an overload, dose three. Then our next iteration was, uh, we do need to make this one, we need to add a cell here. So we have to insert this one, which will be this multiplied by three fourths to get them into four doses. So now we'll have an overload four dose, right? Because that's what we'll actually have. Uh, and then our iteration can move from here again. Then these will change. And you'll get this little green icon which says that your formula is different from the previous ones, and that's all right. Uh, we're just going to ignore that error because we want it to be different. So this one just skips a step. But then once we get the overload four, let's see. The next one that we have is a supreme overload. Supreme overload, which is one of our last iterations. And then our final iteration is the supreme salve overload. So pretty much the maximum you'll ever have to do, and we can delete this, is this one. So if you start with 1,000 vials of water, you will end up with uh, and then you get everything else. Let's say everything goes perfectly to plan and you go by this 10% here. Um, you'll have this coefficient, then you'll get this iteration. And your final product is 1,411 Supreme Salve or Supreme Overload Salves. I type that backwards. And that's kind of how you, that's how I would do it um, to calculate how many I would need. And then pretty much you would just copy this and paste it for whatever potion you needed. So we'd copy paste. And then what we can do is copy paste this, copy paste it down, copy paste it down. And then we could do this for different types of, uh, actually, let me go back. Um, we could do it down here. This one's the irit. This one's, let's say, dwarf wade. I don't know, whatever. And then you can just rename them and go as you want. And uh, but this one seems like it's going to be the maximum iteration. So from 1,000, you'll get 1,400 or so. So if we want to see the total percentage out of the highest iteration we can ever get, we do 14,000 over that. Um, and you'll get 40% more. Um, and then minus 1. Yeah, so this is the total percentage increase from iterations. I don't know if I spelled the iterations right. But uh, yeah, so... Nope, I don't want to save it yet, but if I did save it, I would save it under probably whatever the title is going to be of this video. Uh, it's kind of getting a long video, but I hope that this helps. And let's say it was more close to the 11.5%. Everything in your spreadsheet will get updated, and then uh, this actually can be t this number actually can be turned into a percentage. So we can do the control one like we did before, and then go down to percentage. It'll tell us at 56%. And I just keep saving things because that's how that's how my mind works. I just automatically press control S to save things. Because this is valuable work, you know? So I hope that uh, you guys enjoyed this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add references here. And this is how I would do it. It's always good to reference your your work so that people can look at it and understand where you're coming from. So I'm just going to reference each one of these. We got the extreme attacks, overload, super attacks, and then the unfinished irit potion. So this is for, um, you know, for, for you guys. So I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you have questions, you want me to figure out something for you, uh, then just leave it down in the comments below and uh yeah so thanks guys for watching i'll see you tomorrow for another video peace thank you so much for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it hope you have a great day follow me on social media and subscribe for more peace Lions roaring in the morning sun searching for a longer day people feeling like the light has just come